Hey guys, how's it going? Brad Riley here and welcome to this video. And in this one today, I'm gonna to be going through the biggest lessons I learned spending between $400 and $500,000 this month alone on Facebook ads. So if you're interested in that, then I highly recommend you stay until the end. Now, just before we jump into it, if you are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And if you are interested in learning in even more detail how to run and start your own profitable Facebook advertising business, you're looking for me to hold your hand and guide you on a much more personal and deeper level, but maybe you're also not in the position to spend thousands of dollars on a course, I'd like to invite you to check out the top link in the description for my Entrepreneur Accelerator Mastermind. Super low cost, massive value. Highly recommend you check that out. But without further ado, let's jump into the video. So just so you know, this month has been a record breaking month for me in my agency when it comes to ad spend. You know, over the last few years, we've spent millions of dollars on Facebook advertising in ad spend. However, this month has been the biggest month in terms of ad spend, spending anywhere between 400,000 to half a million dollars US inside Facebook ads in the last 30 days. And in doing so, me and the team have learned a lot of really valuable lessons that I wanted to bring to you and share with you. And honestly, a lot of these things I, I knew already, but it really drilled at home. And I've got some tips for you to take into your own business, whether you're somebody who is looking to start an agency, maybe you already run a successful agency, or maybe you have a, a, a different business and you're looking to run Facebook ads for it. We've got some really valuable tips for you here today. So the first tip I have for you is to not get intimidated by the big budgets. Honestly, I remember when I first started out, you know, the thoughts of spending anything over a thousand, two thousand bucks a month was so intimidating. And I used to get worried thinking, oh my God, we're spending all this extra money. Like what, what are we gonna do? It's gonna be so much more difficult. But actually it's easier. Understand more ad spend equals easier. Okay, it may take a little bit more time to manage in general, but in terms of getting results, often it is easier. You know, what you have to understand is you speed through the learning process so much quicker. You figure out what's working and what isn't working very, very quickly. Also, everything optimizes so much quicker. You know, a lot of things with Facebook ads, it is just letting Facebook optimize for itself and results will get better over time. And again, if you're spending more money, Facebook's going to optimize quicker. So don't actually associate negative things with big budgets, associate positive things with big budgets. It's not more difficult at all. I really want you to get that out of your head. Look at it as fantastic. I've got a big budget. This is gonna be easy. This is gonna be so much more enjoyable. It's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna be able to get even better results for the clients, all right? So first of all, I just wanna get that misconception out of your head if you have it, because I know that's something I had, you know, back when I first started my business. So the second thing I really want you to understand about spending big budgets like this on Facebook is naturally ROAS is going to be lower. However, overall price profitability should be higher if you're doing it correctly. Now, when you're running ads with a small budget, ROAS is king, you know? If you can get a five, six, seven, eight return on ad spend, you're doing really well on, say, a thousand bucks a month in spend. And most clients would be very, very happy about that. And you need to focus on that return on ad spend being high to account for the profit margins on that low spend. You know, if you're charging a thousand dollar retainer, you're spending a thousand dollars on ads, maybe the, the, the business has other overheads, they have the cost of goods and, and shipping that's involved, so for you to make a return for your clients, you need to get somewhat decent return on ad spend because again, the budget is small. When you're dealing with larger ad spend budgets, ROAS becomes less important and instead keeping profitable at scale becomes more important. So just to give you an example of what I mean, if you if you spend a thousand bucks and get a 10X ROAS, you have $10,000 and $9,000 in profit after the thousand dollars ad spend. Really fantastic, right? Whereas let's lower that ROAS down to a 3X ROAS, but let's instead Let's say we spend $10,000. We spend $10,000 at a 3x return and that's $30,000. Then when you deduct the $10,000 in spend, you're left with $20,000. Now this is just a really basic example. Obviously there's other things to consider like the cost of goods and a variety of other factors. But often when businesses are spending really large amount of amounts of money, ultimately if you can get a decent level of profitability, but continue to spend, meaning you know, you're spending 
$100,000 a month, $150,000 a month, but you're able to keep a, a two and a half, three, four, five X return on ad spend, then you are doing really, really, really well because you're spending a lot more money. But again, the ROAS is there and the profitability because you're spending so much is still really, really great. So naturally, as you spend more money, return on ad spend is going to drop. You can't expect to be running cold ads on a 10, 15 extra turn on ad spend while spending a thousand bucks a day. It can happen in some scenarios, it can happen in some businesses, that isn't always the case. So I really want you to understand that and often a lot of these larger businesses, especially when they're spending this amount of money, they are naturally more focused on scale rather than ROAS. So I want you to understand that. ROAS is really important. If you can keep a high ROAS and high spend, fantastic. But the goal is to make sure you're increasing spend whilst maintaining profitability for the company. Okay, really, really big important tip for you there. So the third tip I have for you, this is honestly the biggest piece of advice. If you're spending this much money on Facebook ads, you're going to have an insane amount of website traffic. You're gonna get an insane amount of add to carts and people who drop off without buying. So set up your goddamn retargeting, okay? Set up retargeting advertisements. If you're spending that much money, they don't even have to be on a massively high budget, okay? Set up your retargeting ads, put spend on it, and then monitor the frequency. If you're running ads, on Facebook, let's say you're spending $50 a day on your retargeting campaigns, and that frequency is at 10 frequency, meaning on average, every person sees your ad 10 times. Again, you're probably spending too much money, so you can drop that budget down by maybe 50% to 25 bucks a day. So monitor the frequency on it to, to get the right amount of spend, but make sure whatever you do is that you set up those retargeting audiences. These are gonna capitalize on massive, massive low hanging fruit. And these are gonna be, this is gonna be the difference between your overall campaign and your ad account maybe operating a, a, a whole one, two, three X more return on ad spend. I spoke just a minute ago about, you know, when you're spending this much money about, you know, making sure you're staying profitable and, you know, naturally ROAS will drop. Well, on these retargeting campaigns, because you're monitoring the frequency and the audience, because it's a set size, because it's on your website, there's no need for you to scale that up. You just need to monitor the frequency and, and lower the spend to uh, to an amount where the frequency is kind of decent. And, and for retargeting, I found somewhere between that three to four frequency is a pretty decent level. As soon as you've got your ad spend to about that amount and you're, if you've got a good retargeted campaign set up, maybe with a discount in place to, to help people convert, that is really going to make a massive difference. And if you're spending lots of money like that, don't be surprised if those campaigns turn into 20, 30, 40, 50 X return on ad spend campaigns. And you know, it's funny, we're, we're setting up an ad, my, my uh, lead Facebook advertiser sent me a photo this morning. This was just on an ad level and uh, you know, as the ad spends more, it will uh, lower. But we had an ad this morning that got 1,149 return on ad spend. It spent something like 13 cents to acquire a sale at, I think it's 150 bucks, you know? And it's interesting to see that it only spent 13 cents, but got a sale. And why is that? The audience is so warm. They've already added to cart. They already know your product. You're retargeting them with an offer, with an incentive, like a discount, and it can really, really make a huge difference. So make sure you set up your retargeting. So the fourth piece of advice for you, so important, but actually so simple. Clients like this with big budgets are often very, very, very busy. And if they're busy, they may not always have the time to check in on you. It's funny, you often find, you know, if you've run an agency, you'll know this, the clients that spend the least and the clients that pay you the least often cause the most headaches. They need the most, they give the most micromanagement, they need the most updates. Clients that spend more money and are therefore busy are often better clients and leave you to it more often and, and do not even micromanage at all. Not in all scenarios, but most of the time, that is the case. Now with that, what often can lead to happen is that you see the client isn't reaching out to you, they're not messaging you, so you kind of leave it. But my biggest piece of advice for you is this. If you're with a client that's spending this much money, be proactive instead of reactive, all right? Don't be reactive and only wait for messages to come in until you update them. Be proactive. Set in your calendar two, three times a week to just update them. Send them a, like a 10 second Slack message. Hey, just an update. This is how the campaigns are going this week. Be proactive with those messages. Make them know that you're proactively doing things. You're taking action. You're making progress. You're strategizing and constantly thinking of ways to improve it. Because they're busy, they may not always follow you up, but if you're there to just keep them updated a few times a week, I promise you that's gonna make the biggest difference when it comes to retention with these bigger clients, okay? Really, really important. And the fifth and final thing I will say, if you've got clients at this amount of ad spend budget, and I'm assuming if they're spending that much money, you've got a decent size 
outside retainer out of the clients. If they are doing that, do whatever you can to keep them happy and get them results. Because seriously, if you've got a client that's spending $100,000 a month, $200,000 a month, and you're getting them even a somewhat decent return on ad spend, a 3, 4x return on ad spend on that money, even a 2.5x return on ad spend, you are still making them tens of thousands of dollars in net profit for their business. And I promise you, if you do that and you keep a good relationship, you stay proactive and get them good results, they will literally never ever leave you. You have the potential to make these businesses so much money, especially when they're dealing with these bigger ad spend budgets, okay? As mentioned, even a 2x return on a business that's spending 100K a month is $100,000 in profit. So just something to consider, you know? Do whatever you can to keep these clients happy. Do whatever you can to build rapport and keep the relationship positive and keep it from turning sour. Get them good results and you will keep them for the long term, okay? You will keep them for a very, very long time and that's how you build a real sustainable business with that monthly recurrent revenue. Anyway, I hope you found a bunch of value in this video. If you did, please drop a like. It really would mean a lot. And on a final note, as mentioned, if you are interested in learning even in more depth techniques on how you can build your own Facebook advertising business. I'd like to invite you to check out my Entrepreneur Accelerator Mastermind. There's hundreds of hours worth of in-depth training and content. We've got a Facebook ads mastery course literally inside of the mastermind. I'm constantly building out to make the best Facebook ads course on the entire market. And it's all inside your mastermind. We have weekly live calls. We also have uh, full access to me and the support team. You can message us, we've got a community. Honestly, it is the best self-improvement mastermind on the entire market and it's also super low cost. It's literally 29 bucks a month, cancel any time, 30 days, no strings attached, money back guarantees. So look, if you're interested, I highly recommend you jump in. If after 29 days you don't like it and you think, you know what, Brad, I didn't enjoy that, I want my money back, no strings attached, you can get your money back. So there's nothing to lose, but you got so much to gain on the upside. So I highly recommend you come and check it out. If you are interested, check out the link in the description. I'd love to share even more in-depth techniques with you when it comes to Facebook advertising, because we kind of just touched on the surface here today. Thanks again so much for watching this video anyway. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Keep crushing it and I'll see you in the next one.